In this video, I will compare a key path versus seller amp and tell you which of these tools may be best for you and your Amazon selling needs. So they are both Amazon seller tools that will basically help you identify good products and do other things around selling on Amazon. Now we'll compare them in terms of features and just overall which one I think is best. So let's start with Kipa. You can see if you just go to kipa.com, you can already see quite a lot of things. And if you hover over any of these products, you will see the trends of that product. Now over at the left here, you have a lot of different filters. So for example, you can filter by a drop percent range, by a overall drop range, a price range, and you can sort by the drop percentage and stuff like that. So basically it helps you find products that have dropped quite a lot in terms of price. Now you can also see it for eBay right there, and then you can find similar products. Now if you click track product right here, you can start tracking it for whatever time frame you want. And then you have tracking mode basic, advanced and pro. Now you will see you can even track warehouse deals, you can track the third party FBM. There is a lot of things that you can do with Kipa and it's really advanced. The only downside I would say of Kipa is that it has a pretty ugly interface and it's not that nice to use. Now they have a monthly subscription of 19 euros per month for some more advanced features, but their free plan is already pretty good and they have a product finder, premium data access, product viewer, and the best seller and top seller lists. So you can go to track right here and then you can find products to track and you can manage your existing trackings right here. Now comparing this to SellerAmp, SellerAmp has a Chrome extension, web app and mobile app. And for example, the mobile app is to scan a barcode, search by text or share to the app on your phone or tablet. Now with SellerAmp, you can get quick info on products. You have a profit calculator. You can find offers, alerts, storefront search, keep out charts. So Kipa is also kind of integrated in SellerAmp. They have ranks and prices. You have Google Sheets, notes and tags, mobile share and split screen, smart search, eBay lookup. You can set your own objectives, access your analysis history, and it is very fast. Now in terms of pricing for SellerAmp, you can see they have some paid plans right here. Getting started is $19.95 per month, and you can have one phone app installed, two Chrome extensions, and 1,000 lookups per month. Then getting serious is three phone app installs, five Chrome extension, and unlimited lookups. Now they do offer 14-day free trials on both of them. So which one should you pick, Kipa or SellerAmp? So they are both great product research tools for Amazon sellers. They provide a lot of useful information, helping you find profitable products to sell on Amazon. However, they provide information from different angles and they must be used differently. So if you need to research products fast and get an overall picture of whether a product is worth selling, SellerAmp is a better fit. On the other hand, if you're primarily interested in understanding the product's sales history, which is what you can see here, then Kipa may be the better tool for you. So it depends on whether you are looking for a tool to do a quick search on to find if a product is worth selling or if you want to see a full history of a product's price. So depending on that, I would make my decision. So that concludes this comparison of Kipa versus SellerAmp. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.